Today we're going to talk about where magnets get their power from, their energy from. Where does it come from? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it comes from exiting gravity. I have been amazed by magnets. Over 40 years ago when I was a child, I had a little magnet collection, and you could take those magnets and pull them together, and they pull themselves together, or they push themselves apart, and to this day, 40 years later, those magnets still work, and it just seems like some kind of magic little force. Not. There are particles in there that push the magnets in the direction they're going to go. Now, if you've got my book, I have a full section on magnets in there. And one of the things that magnets have is a magnetic spine, and they have magnetic ribs. Those ribs come and go. Particles out of those ribs can be depleted and or used up. So what replaces them? Exiting gravity. We're going to show that to you with magnets. Now, another thing is, generators that are 50 years old is a magnet, and it goes by a piece of metal. And when it goes by a piece of metal, what happens? Electricity comes out of the magnets. Where does the electricity particle come from? Well, those generators have been running for 40 years, and particles keep coming out. Where does it come from? It comes from exiting gravity. So we're going to come over here, and we're going to show you that at the molecular level. All right, what I got here, four neodymium iron boron magnets, real powerful ones. This is a key ring atom. Now, whenever you push magnets together, they can push themselves apart. Or as you can see there, three of them snap together. They pull themselves, what, what appears to be, they pull themselves together. In my book, you notice that it's the arrangement of the magnetic spine and the magnetic ribs that causes this to happen. Now, where does the particles come from whenever these magnetic ribs are depleted or used up or the particle goes out of them? Well, it's quite simple. Every atom inside of this has gravity going to it. When the gravity comes out, when the gravity comes out, it's going to have a state change. It's going to change to something. So if it comes out and it finds a place inside this magnet where it needs to be, or there is a gap in a magnetic rib, then this particle when it comes out is going to go to that, going to go to that uh, arrangement and continue on and fill in particles. That's why magnets never run out of energy. They can always be used, you know, for 40 years or however long they want to do. They always have exiting gravity filling them back in. All right, that's how magnets get their energy to push themselves together and actually push themselves apart. But what about the generator? No different. Whenever a magnet is going by a piece of metal, a particle in a magnetic rib changes its state from being uh, a magnetic rib to an electricity particle. And so it goes into the metal, that becomes electricity, then the gravity that's going to the atoms in the magnet come in and fill in the lost magnetic rib. So as the generator keeps turning, that use of particles, you just go in, you have a particle in, and you have a particle out, and it's balanced. And that's what you have to realize, realize is gravity powers magnets. Exiting gravity powers magnets. It's that easy. To understand this more, you're going to have to buy my book. There are 62 pages in it. Very, very well done work. Use ferrofluid, you can actually see the magnetic ribs uh, coming out of magnets. Very good work. Um, so if you want to understand magnets more, you're going to have to get the book. Physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.